Well, welcome back. Welcome back to the part two of the sneaky corner. Right, so we're into like the like innermost depths of what we're getting up to on the gang and sneaky corner. Right, right okay, so we're going a bit mental. Right, so we are absolutely smash all. So look, the way I look at these ones, right, we're going to call it sneaky corner. Right, these are ones that we are. You know, only like the real proper gang members are going to really take the bother time to actually watch. You know, we've got subscribers, we appreciate it for all their people, but we've got the gang members who really want to fucking just have a fucking laugh, right? So here we go. So this is what we're going to do. Now, this is going to get spicy, chaps, because we're going to go fucking mad, right? We're going to go a little bit out there, right? Now, first thing I want to do, I've got a lot of chopped up beef, yeah, beef, and I want to test and see, I know it's not going to be hot enough, I already know that, right, now what I want to try and do is I want to really fry off, right, um, the beef first into what I want to happen, right, so I'm just having a little look. And I've got the caraway seeds and I see one of the whacking as well. I'm gonna whack in a little bit of cumin seeds. I need to be, I think I also will back it actually. A little tiny bit of fish sauce. This is going to be, like, like I said, we're going to, this is going to be sneaky corner. So this is for only like all the special people, right? Um, that I, oh God, fuck's sake. That, um, that are going to be observant into these sort of weird, sort of uh, tangents of situations um we have got a few uh well i've got a, i have got a, about five or six massive updates from michelin um i don't want to get into that right now right because i want to be concentrating on um i don't know whether to call it sneaky corner or experimental corner i like sneaky corner i really do I'm feeling that sneak. I'm feeling that <laughs> sneaking on in there and having a little look, right? That's just how I'm feeling, right? So, okay, so I'm going to whack some beef mix. Now, I've chopped this sucker up, right, into basically small chunks, right? It's very, very oily, right? We are not going to have to put any oil in this at all. At all, right? It is. I mean, I'm eating it like that. It's lucky as fuck. So, I need all the bits from work, right? These are all the bits from work where they trim off the actual top sides of the beef. And they just fuck them off. They don't give a shit. Why just keep them, right? So, that's it. Right, okay, so we now need to get a little bit of control going on. Right, well, not too much. I do want to get them crispy, so... Right, the less movement, the better, because we all know that, right? Right, put a little bit of that uh, in there, salt, in there. More than needed. A little bit of black pepper. Right, I turn it down now. I want it right down. That's about three. So I'm, I'm detecting a little bit of burnage, right? So before we get any burnage going on, I want to get the spices in. We don't want to be putting them in too hot, okay? So I've got some cumin. Oh, what have you done there? Right, that's, that's actually bollocks. I've just contaminated it there. Right, like I said, it's sneaky corner. There's loads of things that can go, oh, fuck's sake. I've just 
tip most of the entire contents of the caraway seeds in. Well, we might also go balls out and go fennel as well. Why not? It's all gone to shit already, right? So, right, let's do it. Right, let's get them flavours in there. I want garlic. I do want garlic. Right, I'm done in garlic. Right, I'm going to go... Right, I want a bit of action. I want some... I want some Elof Station. Right, so, um, yeah, so we've got, you know, like I said, uh, with this sort of uh, part of the channel, you know, we all know about special plan, things like that. But in this sort of experiment, I just want to go experimentational. I just want to have a little look. Right, so we're going to do big chunks of garlic. We're not going like Major Sheffy. We're going really, I've got no idea what I'm doing, sort of Sheffy. So, um, right, so we've got, I'm not going to do... I don't really, I'm, I'm in two minds to even bother about doing anything on, on Michelin to be honest with you. So, and the reason why that is, is because um, the news updates I've got are not confirmational. I've just put in there some chilli and garlic sauce, so we've got more chilli going in, right? Now, this is going to be really groovy. I want that, I want that beef. Right, I want them shredded bits of beef to really sing for themselves. Right, I want a song. I want a song to be written and a song to be told. And that's for who, whoever holds the gold. Right, so, um, yeah, so let's have a look. I want some bovel in there. I do like the bovel. I am getting quite addicted to the bovel. Do you know that? Right. I'm getting like really spicy attached to that bubble, bubble of bubbliness that's going on, right? Now, like I said, this is all about the um, about the beef at the moment, right? I want to create some some not hot flavours, but just some like beefy, beefy flavours, but not not in a way that's going to ruin any dish, right? So we're not into ruining any dishes at all, right? Now, I want to keep everything as it is, right? I want to keep control on the beef. And, you know, there's a couple of other little things that we've forgotten, isn't there? Yeah. To all the gang members that have been watching and to all the people that have subscribed, Right, we all thank you. I'm absolutely arse blasted, right? I'm now literally speak. This is why we call it Sneaky Corner, right? Now, the jacket potato that is in the oven as we speak, right? We need some cheese on that fucker, right? We need some cheese on that bad boy, and that cheese is coming in the form of extra, of shit shop, extra mature, on a budget, Right, cheddar and red Leicester as well. So I'm going for basically the same amount of cheese that I did the other night. I think it works well. Um, I don't know what to say. We need to concentrate on what we're doing, right? The beef is really starting to get sticky now. I'm turning off all auxiliary functions to any situation. It really needs to come off. I need to get it off the thing because we are starting to lose control a little bit. Not a lot, not a lot, right? It's all right, don't worry. Don't like, have like a major seizure attack over here, are we? So, right, okay. So it's nice and gelatine which is what I like. Um, but I think we are going to have to lose quite a bit of fat, right? So, right, let's do that. Right, I'm going to lose some of the fat because it is slightly too much, right? Without it going in the fucking sink. Right, 
plus. I just wanted to lose some of that fat, right? So I know we've still got some fat going on. Um, and this is why a lot of the cases in these situations that we'll be trying to talk utter bullshit while I'm looking for something and it's already actually there because I was actually trying to say I'm um, talking bollocks whilst I was looking for my scissors but they were there so um, yeah so the pissness is like highly up now um, we are trying to relax and chill out and do shit I'll just have something to float by uh, I saw my first fly the other day actually so we know that summer's around the corner because the fuckers are coming back out so right okay so now what we're going to do well I want to get the onions back in and integrated into that um, beef right so it's going to be a very very interesting um, beef and onion and the caramelization into all them flavours that is going to go on right I know it looks a little bit dark and all that sort of stuff and I understand it's an actual garlic skin or mm. Right. Okie dokie. So, yeah, I understand all that. So, you know, but that's why I've gone for the um, other situation of doing like the jacket potato. Alright, so. Right, now, we've got the um, jalapenos to whack in. Alright, now. I do want some extra body and heat to this, okay? We're not talking about a normal um, sort of uh, beans, right? We are talking a different animal of beans, right? Now, beans are brilliant. I love beans, they're fucking great, right? If you're on like a really poppy special, right? You can do an excellent fucking rice dish with baked beans, some really rubbish mushrooms, and a bit of salt and pepper, a bit of butter, or butter that's not butter, some fucking toast, and you've got a fucking meal, right? And you've got a meal fit for a fucking king that night, even in your poverty special levels of poverty, right? So this is what I mean. This is why it's called experimental corner. Right, so, or, I don't know, I'm really, I'm, I like, I like the term sneaky corner, right, because that's what it is, it's a little bit sneaky, so I like it, I like sneaky corner, right, so whack them jalapenos in there, right, and this, is, this needs to go right up now, so I've let that sit down for quite a long time, um, the jack potato needs to be sorted out quite immediately, right? Okay, so I'm going to whack in a little bit of fish sauce. Right, I know everyone's going, what are you doing? I know. Now, I would have put in some Worcestershire sauce, but I haven't got that. So now I'm going to put in a little bit of soy sauce, a little bit of extra. I know, I know. And now... A little bit of the Jamaican jerk barbecue sauce, just a tiny little dribble, like only a tiny bit. Like, don't go, like, you could do, you could do whatever. You could put plum sauce in it. Do you know what I might do? I'm going to put a bit, extra bit of this. This is Scotch bonnet pepper sauce. Now this is spicy as you fucking like, but like that. We'll probably now, up to, in the morning, right, I will probably be on the toilet for quite a while now, because that is hardcore to the fucking core. So we're going to mix all that in. So you've got that peanut butter in there, the garlic, the ginger, you know what I mean? Some really nice little flavours, right? Now, to lift them flavours up a little tiny bit before I do anything else, right, I'm gonna whack in a little bit. I'm gonna put a tiny little bit of Italian seasoning, right? Just a little bit. 
about half a teaspoon on it. Now I know a lot of people are going to be going, what the fuck are you doing? Why are you doing that? You're like literally almost like a psychopath, right? It's not, it's just a case of I'm trying to... I know there's going to be a lot of flavours in there that are going to be coming out, right? But uh, the back burner, I'm turning off right away because that's now getting too... That is just too ridiculous, right? So I need to get a move on with this now. Now I'm going to chuck in, I'm going to chuck in the rest of that, the rest of the old uh, pat choy. Let's get that all broken up properly because it's not. But you know we are talking about experimental corn art. I just oh, no, I don't like that. I, I know what it means. Oh God, I just I just want to call it some given like sneaky corn. That's why I like it. So we are dealing with a bit, a bit of sneaky corner, right? right? So we've got some fresh pat choy. I don't want to cook it down to anything this, but I'm doing it. I'm calling it, I am going to call it sneaky corner, right? It's sneaky corner. Right, some seed, some sesame seeds, right? Loads of them in there, loads of them, right? I want to sesame seed that fucker up, right? Okay, that's nice. That's nice. Okay, right, now I need to get this sorted out, right? Because now we are talking. Now I'm going to serve it on a dish, right? Uh, I'm going to go for my. I've actually got to wash it up because I didn't. Well, last time I washed it up, obviously, I didn't do a very good job of that, so. Right, okay, so. So this is what I do at work, so there we go, so I'm used to it, so fine. Right, okay, so, right, I need to start thinking about what the fuck I'm actually doing, right? Right, okay. Right, that's it, now I'm going to turn it off completely. I'm just going to turn everything off now, right? That's it. Right, now, I'm going to add a load of butter that is not butter 100%. Right, and this will give, I know a lot of people will be going, now what the shit on all its glory are you doing? Right. And the reason why is that it's going to just soften all the flavours that are already in there. Because them flavours, believe it or not, are going to be softened for something else, right? Uh, I want that up to a really high heat now. Right now, the jacket potato up to a really high heat to get it nice and crusty. So I've got to be now on my game, basically. Right here we go. Right now, I wouldn't normally do this. Right, um, there's no way I'd normally be adding a whole tin of beans to this cacophony, but I'm going to do it. My name's Sergeant Furutos. We're adding beans to this and let's do it. And there we go. And that is going to be a bean fest. And we are just going to. Everything's turned off now. I don't need to do anything to this, I just need to let it cool down, right? That's all I need to do. The juices in it already amalgamated, right? I just want the bean. That's all I want, right? Okay, so. so okay. Right, so I just want that to simmer. It's going to do what it needs to do, right? It's going to do exactly what it needs to do. Right, okay, let's do it. So let's get on with the situation. Right, so we need to do some cheese, right? So we've got the extra mature cheddar. We've got the um, red less up, so I'm going for the same cheese. I'm going for a slightly thinner grater, even though I don't need to because technically I've left the cheese out for slightly too long and it's gone too soft. So I'm literally... I'm not saying nothing. Well, I'm not 
I'm not saying nothing, right? Because we're all having a moment. But everyone now is pissing themselves laughing. And I know. So I've now got to wash that up. I've now got to... Oh, wow. Oh, Jesus Christ. That is so gay. It really is. Everyone's going, why don't you just like, pause it? Like, no, because I like to... You know, if I fuck up, mate... I fuck up. I ain't, I ain't really bothered with that. I, I think, to be honest with you, it's just all part of the process, mate. Do you know what I mean? So it's fine. So I'm not really uh, bothered about it. So. Right, okay, so let's just do that. I said, well, fuck the cheese grate off. Right, let's just fuck it off and just cut the fucking, fucking thing up, right? So that's how we're going to do it. So. What are we talking about? Well, this is the cheese that's going to go on the jacket potato, alright? So, I have to do this now. So, we've really completely arsed this up a little bit because I'm wanting all that gravy, but. Oh, for fuck's sake. And now it's not going to be, but that sometimes can always be a good thing, alright? In cooking, I tell you what a lot of the things I've learned in cooking, right, is sometimes a lot of the fuck ups, right, are actually quite good, right, so, okay, right, I've got another second tin of beans here, and I'm going to add this to the, I'm not actually, no, I'm not really I was having a major moment of utter amazement. So now I need a. I'm going to cut the jack of potato in half. Transfer that to the plate. Cut that off. Wow. Right, so when I squeeze this. Right, so we're now going to try to inject some flavour into this jack of potato. So when I, I've cut it in half and I'm now going to squeeze it together and put it back. Right? Use a cloth, right? And then you'll get that sort of finish, right? Okay, so we're going to poke this and I want to get all them bits of jack of potato broken down first. Right, first thing before we do fucking anything, right? Right, I want it seasoned. I want it seasoned and I want it seasoned around the entire plate. Right, I want black pepper and I want that around the entire plate. I want a bit of white pepper as well and that's it. Right, now, now we've got a little bit of important stuff to do. Alright, so we're going to take that off now. I'm going to turn that on and I'm going to wet that right up. Alright, because we've got a couple of little things I don't really want to forget. Alright, okie dokie. Right, the butter that's not butter, just whack it on. Alright, just whack it on. Alright, that will melt in, it's fine. It doesn't really matter, it's fine. It will just do its own thing, right? Okay. Um, I mean, obviously it would be better if it was butter, right? Obviously. Um, but we haven't got that ability at the moment. Okay, okay. So what I'm gonna do, And now I'm just going to place all the cheese on that jack of potato. Okie dokie. I want it on the jack of potato or in it, right? Or at least, you know, connecting tissue to it, right? So, yeah, so now I've been a little bit quiet in this video. Um, like I said, we've got emails from uh, Mitchell in. Um, 
I don't want to go into it in too much detail because there's a life, a, a man's life under threat, right? We've got double agent 114, he's still, we've had sightings, we've had sightings, uh, double agent 115 has cancelled his flight today, uh, about two o'clock this afternoon. Um, he's understood that the journey that he's taking is extremely uh, tumultuous. I actually said, I personally emailed him and said that hand gliding from the massive cliff in the southwest of France all the way to the UK is a very dangerous activity and should not be undertaken. He's taken that on board. Just adding a little bit of the uh, olive uh, and thyme and garlic oil to uh, that pan. He's taken it on board. Uh, he's had to cancel his flight. It was a slightly too windy uh, today. Uh, and I mean by a slight alteration of wind by basically um, he held up a feather and it started to slightly move and that was enough. That was like him saying, no, I can't do it, right? So, which makes me highly concerned when he starts to fly about around France and travelling north and gets to the UK where our weather is a bit rubbish. I don't know. So, we will see and we will see, right? And that's, how, that's all I can say, right? Um, now... What else I can say with this is we have slightly fucked up what? Right? Um, a little bit, I'm going to have to unfuck it because I've completely forgotten to actually put on the actual chilli sauce on Jack Mateo itself, which was really dumb. So we're going to do that now. All right. I do apologise about that, that was really stupid. So we're not going to do too much, I'm not going to try and overlay it like I've done before. Sorry about that, that is really dumb. So I completely forgot. Oh, fucking hell. So it's, it's very stressful, like when we create new meals, right? And that's not gonna be enough cheese, is it? I know everyone out there is gonna be going, that is not enough cheese. That is not enough cheese, what are we doing? Sergeant, what are you, you're letting us down, mate. You're letting the team down, right? I, I am, and I. I really am. I actually feel like. So I'm letting the team down a bit there. There's not enough cheese. We want cheese. We do want fucking cheese, don't we? So we do love our cheese, though, mates, don't we? Do you know what I mean? So. So I'm gonna go for it. I'm 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 doing reserve backward action, right? Um, yeah. So anyway, so like I said, double O eight and one fifteen is in preparation now. So I've just whacked loads more cheese on that now. Now fucking hell, right? That's got to be enough cheese to shape a fucking stick up, mate. Right? You know what I mean? So that is mega. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna do it with the. Um, with the red lesser, I think that's fine. So, okay. Right, so that's going to go under the grill right now. Um, I'm going to, I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to clean that plate up because it does look a bit of shit, doesn't it, like that? Oh, I just get carried away. You know, I just get like into the groove of it. I, I like, I love it. I think it's great. So, right, so we're going to whack that under, under. Uh, just before we do that, I need to get prepared fully with, we need to start to get ready, right? Well, I'm going to whack that under the grill. That's too high. So that's the level of the grill is too high, so I'm trying to get to a situation where it won't be too catastrophic. Right, okay, here we go. Now I've got to be really quite quick. So, this is now all about timing, right? So, we've got the two eggs. I know they're rolling about, don't worry about it. Right, I'm going to turn it, I'm just turning everything off now. Are these going to fry in a ridiculous moment? I don't want them to cook too quick. Oh, shit. Oh god, 
save your copy. Yeah, I don't want them to cook. Um, no, I don't want them to cook too speedily. So just clean the ashes. So we just want to just keep them there, I'm just keeping an eye on the cheese and the fucking plate it's on, because that plate is under the grill, right, and it's already been in the oven, so I don't want any, um, now I know that sheep unit did say, like, why don't you try, like, spooning the oil onto the egg itself without, and you are probably correct sheep unit, so I will do that. Okay, so we're just going to base these eggs now. Yeah, I can understand what you're saying. I mean, I do do that sometimes. It just depends how you like your eggs. It really does. Like, everyone is completely different. Um, and I like to just flip them over. Um, but, yeah, I can understand why people... I've got to do a couple of things at once, so I do have to keep an eye on what's going on fucking under here as well well I'll keep a real close eye on there sea salt on them but I'm not going to put any pepper on them all right I'm just going for sea salt all right right okay I'm going to call that done right so let's get them moving I think that'll be a good idea if we get them sort of separated a little bit as hot as you like. Well, I'm not like mucking around with this, right? I'm not gonna start faffing too much, but any excess, I do want to remove. Oh, God, that's an issue. Right, oh, I'm having a minute. Right, okay, fine, that's it, it means. Right, so, We've got some groovy stuff. I forgot to do the caraway. I'm going to put a little bit of caraway seedage right in this, just as raw, just to say that I've done it. Um, it doesn't really matter. I mean, we can cook it in. You can not cook it in. Bit of fennel seed. Bit of that. All right. I might even whack in as an edit extra of greenery. Oh, cock. Oh, I've got dissimulation going on. Right, we've got some oregano. I'm going to whack a bit of that in. Right. A, bit of, a bit of greenery, and everyone loves it. Right, everyone loves a bit of green. I like a bit of green. You like a bit of green. And green is good. Green is good for the soul. Right. So, here we go. So, this is what we're going to do. Right. We're now going to serve this, you know, sporadic Sunday night. Are we still actually recording? I need to check because my brain's fell out. Right, so, um, 
Yeah, so it's going to be mental. We've got a cheesy extravaganza right going on. Um, I'm going to place up the the groove with beef, beans, and onion with bok choy just because I had some and I need to choose it. But we don't want to do too much, do we? Because we always do. We always go a little bit over the top. So I want to try and create a major, just a little bit of a tower of power there, right? And just to, just a little bit of a symbol to like a bit of a beef and Asian sort of scenario, right? I reckon some some sesame seeds on it, right? Just as uh, a nod to like um, a fusion of East meets West or fucking some bollocks like that, right? So here we go, egg. I'm gonna create a nice little egg there. It's gonna do its thing. And that's all she's gonna write, right? And that is that is what I call a double triple extra, right? We can't much see much of the uh, jack of potato, so I will try and ink for phrase that as best I can, right? And uh, yeah, so I reckon that's the mental one. Uh, I'm pretty smashed. Frank needs to be honest with you. I need to have a do match laser as well. Right, so let's have a little bit of a hand wash. So yeah, so I'm gonna call that a bit of a sneaky corner. That was a complete experimental. I had no idea roughly what I was doing. To be honest with you, I was completely fucked about the whole time. Um yeah, so right. Hang on to your bum cheeks and I'll show you in a fucking bit. Hang on. Okay, so here we go. So we've got the fried eggs. Right, so we've got the... I don't know how to fucking do this really. So we've got the fried eggs. Okay. We've got the jack of potato in the melted cheese with the um, American chilli sauce on top of it. And it's been buttered but not buttered as well. And then we've got the beans in the onion, fried onion and fried beef, right? So that's all pretty fucking cool. Let's have a little look at that. Let's have a little look at what we're doing, right? So there we go, that's nice. I would spin the plate around, but obviously the plate is absolutely fucking baking. Alright, because that was under the grill. Alright, that's nice. So there we go. So I'm going to do a little final sprinkle of um, a bit of salt and pepper. A little bit of black pepper. And then we go. So I reckon that's going to be fucking sick as fuck. So that's all them... Uh, <clears throat> beef cut off from work, um, <clears throat> just fried off. We've got the potato, the, the jack potato is under there, chaps. Don't worry about that. That's under. Right, okay, so that was a bit of a mental one. So that was a bit of an offshoot. Didn't expect to do that tonight. Um, yeah. Right, okay, let's do it. Let's do a nice camera app view from here. Right, okay, let's do it. Right, my name's Sergeant Fusos. That was my man, jack of potato with beans, fried beef, and onion, and egg. I'll see you in the next one. See how they are. Yay!